CGO Ari. No. Just no. Ah. I'm not very good at lines. But I'm gonna do two crosses. <laughs> no. So I want to talk right now about CGLRE. CGLRE came from Tumblr and Tumblr is just really not a good source of information and there's a lot of misinformation that stems from some Tumblr. You really need to learn to question your sources and anytime that you get information from somewhere, be it me or someone else on YouTube or Tumblr, Instagram, you have to be questioning things and really understand like where this is coming from, what the person's intent is and why they want to post it. There's a lot of definitions to in the community and one of them mainly being ABDL which is adult baby diaper lover and then the B and the D are kind of supposed to stand for bondage discipline. Another one would be DDLG daddy dom little girl and DLG mommy dom little girl or DDLB or M DLB, which means little boy, and honestly, I really hate those terms because I feel like we should just really just use CGL when referring to anything like that because it kind of encompasses all of it and makes it a lot less confusing and saves me a lot of time when I'm trying to tag my photos. CGL means caregiver little, and caregiver little is pretty much a caregiver and the little. It's kind of self-explanatory, guys. In CGL, there's really no gender specification of what your caregiver is and who you are, and that includes people of non-binary genders. A new one that's popped up on Tumblr lately is CGLRE, and this has been around for a year or so now. And CGLRE stands for Caregiver Little Regressor. I'll explain more in this video about that. So before I really get into this, let me just state that this is not meant to be malicious towards anyone. This is not meant to tear apart anyone specifically or the group of CGLRE even. Um, I just really want people to notice what they're doing and be aware of the misinformation that they're spreading and the people that they're causing harm to. So where I mostly see this information coming from is from Riley, who has a YouTube channel, is pretty big on Tumblr, Instagram. He's pretty active on all social medias and he's a self-proclaimed YouTube star. This is not meant to hurt Riley in any way, shape or form. It's just the really the only information that I could find on CGLRE to use um, was from Riley. I've asked many people within the community what they think that CGLRE is and what I found is that most of them got the information from Riley and that is what they were going off of. So that is who I'm going to be discussing here. No way is it meant to be malicious towards Riley. I actually really like Riley as a person. Um, just it has to be said and I'm sorry for having to do this to a person that is a fellow YouTuber. So I'm going to show you a clip now of Riley kind of talking about another video that he made and how he felt about the information that he gave there. But there was some misinformation that I said in that video and I think the reason I spread that misinformation was mainly because I was fairly new to the community at the time where I had filmed that video. So really like what he's saying is that he's still new to a community and while he wasn't talking about our community he was talking about CGL, RE, and Kidspace which I don't even want to get into that one. He was talking about the CGL, RE community in a previous video that he made which I have to say that the same go is true for our community that Riley is 18 or going to be 19 that video was made when he was 18 and he's been involved probably since he was like, I would say 17, I've seen him active, maybe even 16 he's been active. He um, hasn't really experienced a lot of our broader community at events or actually meeting people in real life that have been established in this community. And it's kind of like he's spreading misinformation everywhere now because he doesn't really know what he's expressing to everyone. So let's hear in Riley's own words what CGLRE is. CGLRE is a non-kink, non-sexual age regression community for age regressors and their caregivers. So yeah, I mean, that's not bad. I mean, like, non-kink, non-sexual, just an age regression community where it's like a kind of a safe space to go if you don't want to see sexual things. That's pretty cool, actually. I could get behind that. Since it is a safe for work, non-kink, non-sexual age regression community, it is also safe for minors. However, there are a lot of adults in the community like myself. And yeah, minors, ooh, that's a not good place to be. 
So I actually tried to take notes on this to make this video and my notes actually under safe for minors, adults allowed, just say no, 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 no. <laughs> That's how much I can honestly just say that I feel about that is just no. So from my last video, you might have seen why it's not safe to be an underage person in this community. And even if you are thinking that you are in a non-sexual community with a CGLRE, that you don't know who you're interacting with, honestly. You do not know. These people might be adults that are getting off to the fact that you're a child. Or you could have a situation like what happened to me when I was 18 even, where I wasn't sexual with it, and someone wanted to make me sexual, and they told me that they weren't sexual. And then got me into a position where I didn't know how to say no. These things can happen to you, you're involving yourself as an adult, too, with a minor. And you don't know that their parents are going to be okay with that. You're assuming that everyone's fine with the fact that their child is talking to an adult. I'm sorry, but their parents are going to look at this and they're not going to see that, oh, my child is just doing it non-sexually and just to cope with some crap that's going on in their life. They're gonna see it as this older adult person is screwing with the mind of my child right now. They're introducing my child to a dirty world of things and they don't know why you're talking to their kid. And really that's not fair to the parents who have taken all the time of raising this child. You're coming in and possibly destroying all that work that they're doing. So like Riley already admitted before that he might have some misinformation and right here is him kind of giving his own misinformation. There are absolutely no kink ties to CGL Reed, despite what some people might say. Please note that the people that say that are also not in CGL Reed. If you're not in the community, you can't really determine what it is. So that right there was Riley pretty much saying that he doesn't really understand this community and that he doesn't really know that not all CGLs people are sexual, not all ABDLs are sexual. In fact, according to Understand Infantilism, which is a good source for information for this community, and I'll put the link at the bottom here so you guys can check it out, and please do check it out. It's a great site, um, has a lot of information, it's taken this guy numerous years. He's worked on it for about 11 or 12 years now, so I mean it's a really good source. Infantilism is actually the term I think that Riley is looking for. Infantilists, actually 55% of them have reported not being sexual. And not all infantilists are sexual, not all people in the community are sexual at all. A lot of us just re age regress and enjoy age regression without the sexual aspect. There are people like me that enjoy both, and there's people that only want it sexually. But there are people that don't want anything to do with sex in their little space. They age regress and they actually feel like a child, and it's a legitimate feeling, and that is called infantilism. So right here we see the ABDL triangle, and there's different parts of this triangle for different reasons. You might have somebody that's only into the diaper aspect, which is a DL, and infantilism can be almost two different spectrums. At the bottom half, you have loss of control, humiliation, which is where the more the bondage, dominance, the discipline like comes in, you'll have a lot of humiliation play down there. And at the top, you're just having a change in role where you just want to be a child. And that's still included under infantilism. You're still a part of the infantilists and you're still a part of the age play community that way. And so I thought that maybe Riley just didn't understand what infantilism was or that maybe these people don't, but in a later video, he actually mentions infantilism, so that really can't be true. Age play is a role play. Sexual or not, it's where someone pretends or acts to be at an age other than their own age. This is usually a subset of BDSM, and it includes communities like DDLG, MDLB, the age play community, infantilism, and the age play community is an adult community. It is an 18 plus community for a reason, and that's because of its ties to kink and BDSM. So here he just admitted that he knows what infantilism is and he understands that it's a part of the adult community. If you understand what infantilism is, and I suggest checking out Understanding Infantilism, um, you would understand that you are an infantilist when you're doing these things. You don't have to be sexual, it doesn't have to deal with BDSM, it doesn't need to do with that at all. DDLG and its variants. We Wait, can you pause so I can pee? That. This video is taking so long to record. <laughs> And I just really have to pee. So that is what's gonna happen now. Yep, peeing my pants on YouTube. Because lack of fucks given. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it's just not gonna stop. Apparently I've been holding this for a long time to make this stupid video. <laughs> and I'm done. Back to the video. 
So let's hear more about what Riley says that CGLRE is. Instead of rules, we have things called helpfuls, which are basically just helpful reminders of things like brushing your teeth, going to bed at a good time. CGLRE, according to Riley, just means that it's non-sexual infantilism, and instead of rules, they're helpfuls. And according to this comment that was made below the video that I'm referring to, Riley has said a little bit more about it. Punishments always have been and always will be a power exchange. And those of us that are bigger in CGLRE don't consider punishments a part of that because a power exchange in this context is tied to kink, and CGLRE is not. Also, in CGLRE, we have helpfuls instead of rules because, like, they're just helpful reminders, and rewards for doing good are still definitely part of CGLRE. So, Riley thinks that all of our BDSM <laughs> ABDL or infantilism, which has nothing to do with BDSM, is having rules and regulations and having punishments. And I, for one, am kind of offended when someone looks at my relationship and thinks that they know what my relationship looks like from the outside. While diapers are sexual for me and I do have a sexual portion to my age play and my regression, I also have a very non-sexual part to my age play and regression where I don't want anything sexual, I don't have sex, I don't want to do that, and I don't have rules or punishments. I don't really think a lot of people do, honestly. I think that helpfuls are a good idea, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that you're not part of this community just because you call it a different name. Uh, things like sticker charts exist for a reason within the ABDL community, and usually you don't get beat senseless for not getting the right sticker. CGLRE might just be a term that was made up just to incorporate minors, and you really need to look at that because CGLRE is bringing in minors and all the other aspects of it fit into the term of infantilism, of non-sexual infantilism. Like I said earlier, 55% surveyed said that they weren't sexual when they were infantilists. And so by saying that the only real difference is that it allows minors is kind of messed up, you guys. So Riley's even made videos about tags to use if you're safe, to be safe as an underage person in this community. So non-sexual tags are actually a really, really good idea. But the thing with non-sexual tags is that just because it's sexual sometimes for somebody doesn't mean that it's sexual all the time for them. And there are times when my content is completely not sexual and I don't want people really like bapping or jerking off to it and it's just more of me being in my little space and me being cute. And honestly, most of my content, unless you're viewing me on diaper.online, is really would be considered safe for work, which I hate using that term because this none of this would you would go show your boss. I would hope not unless you're I don't know what you would do or you would show this to your boss unless you're me or <laughs> you can do this in your basement. <laughs> but you don't want to go show your boss this kind of content. So not safe for work and safe for work. Stupid to me. So I don't really think that it's completely necessary, but it's a cool idea and can be used for by those people. But you can't control tags, like you can't control what gets to use CGL. You can't control your tags either. The other day I had someone come at me with hashtag age regression includes minors, so I sh shouldn't be using it, and actually it was my husband, that he shouldn't be using it on his Instagram. Well, sorry, but you don't own hashtags either, and anyone can use whatever the fuck hashtag they want. It's not up to you to decide whose hashtags are used by who. And when you come into a community, you don't get to decide that, oh, we're taking this back for our community because age regression's for mental health. That's not how it works. You can tag whatever the hell you want. I could hashtag Disney princess on all my things and expose minors to my fetish, but I won't and I don't think anyone should. I think you need to be really careful with what you're hashtagging. But at the same time, minors should not be involved in the age regression community or the age play community or CGLRE at all. Just because you use a different tag doesn't mean that you're safe. Because you're using that tag, it actually means that you probably aren't as safe as you would be if you were just using DDLG. When you're doing this underage, it's really easy for an adult to pick up on the fact that, hey, these tags are used by minors. I'm going to go look up those tags so that when I find my next minor to groom, that I can use them. There are groomers out there. They will find you, they will pretend to be kids, and they will use you. So when does it become a kink? People are saying the power exchange is what makes it a kink. 
And while there's not a power exchange as in somebody's getting punished or somebody's tied down to get their diaper changed, um, there's still a power exchange going on. Anytime that somebody is being the adult and you are being the child, there is a power exchange, which does kind of fit into the infantilist community. And even infantilism, uh, according to understanding infantilism, they've said that even that really might not be a kink because infantilism is usually a lifelong thing. There are people that are into this just as a kink, where they've picked it up, they've turned like 19 or so, found it online, and we're like, hey, I might be into that, that sounds kind of cool, let's try that out. But usually it comes and goes. Kinks are kind of like how I feel about electro play. I love it, it's fun, but do I need it all the time? Not really. Infantilism's a bit different. Um, as an age regressor myself, I age regress, I actually do feel like a child. I go in the headspace of a child. While I might do this as part of it as a fetish and part of it is sexual for me, there are definitely parts to my own age play and my own age regression that aren't sexual and might not be considered a kink. So would I be into CGLRE at times? If I wanted to be, like, or would I just be into CGL? It's so confusing because there's so many terms out there right now. So really, I think the separation is fine between sexual and non-sexual communities. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that it might even be helpful to have almost a sexual area where people can post masturbating and diaper clips and a non-sexual area where people can just post pictures of themselves coloring. But should any of that involve minors? No. Um, I'll link down to my last video. And minors are in this community are very, very, you're at danger. You're putting yourself in so much harm. You really need to think about it before you do it. Just because Riley says it's okay does not mean that Riley knows everything. And really the general kink and ABDL and BDSM and any other form of age play, even the age regressors that are into BDSM kink or age play, and there are age regressors that are much, much older, you guys. They go to Capcom, they go to TeddyCon, they attend US Littles events, and there are a ton of them that would not consider themselves into anything sexual. They would even say that no, minors should not be allowed. There's a reason that things like TeddyCon, which is a non-sexual age play event, only allow 18 and up people. I really just think that CGL was created because underage people wanted a place to go that they could be safe. And this isn't safe. It's not safe at all. They wanted to create this own subculture so that they could make the rules for it. Because the rules in our community as adults was that a minors can't be allowed, even if it is non-sexual. So by them saying, we're gonna make our own community where it can be non-sexual and everything is gonna be sunshine and rainbows over here. And we're not gonna run into any pedophiles because we're mi mixing minors with adults and we're all safe and happy and secure. I am just waiting for five, ten years down the line on how many children were abused right now that are out there getting abused right now by adults in this community that are taking advantage of these kids because it won't come out anytime soon and it might not ever come out because when you do things at 18 or even younger, according to these people, um, you're going to regret them eventually. and. The regrets that you have, if it's you as a minor with an adult, it's going to be a huge regret. It's gonna be really huge. You're gonna feel like that person used you. And I'm knowing that from experience, from interacting a little bit as a minor, that you will feel used. So as far as CGLRE is concerned, I think that really what needs to happen is that they need to use the term infantilist. And honestly, the community stopped using the term infantilist because it was in the DSM at one point in time which is the medical manual for diagnosing mental health issues and it was a mental health issue. You used to be able to get locked up in a mental health facility for being an infantilist. And if you guys want to go back to that time when that was a thing where we just all referred to this as a mental health issue, and which honestly, I don't think that everyone would have an issue with that these days because people seem to really hurrah the fact that there is something wrong with them here. And they're like, this is my age regression because I have issues thing. Um, it's not very a good outlook for our community, and if you want to go back to that time, I guess we could, but we've worked a long, long, long time to get away from that stigma that we were all mentally handicapped or insane, and it's kind of going back that way now when children are getting involved. So many years ago, DPF was a thing, and that standard for diaper pail friends. 
And it started out as like a newsletter that went out to all ABDLs that signed up for this newsletter. And this was before the internet. So this is how everyone interacted. When the internet became a thing, CPF put up a chat room for teens and we were called TBDL, Teen Baby Diaper Lover. We had our own chat room on there. So years, years, years later, so many stories came out about children being hurt in these chat rooms, being molested by adults because they met up from these chat rooms or thought they were talking to other teens or just adults harassing them telling them they wanted pictures or a number of other atrocities that happened in these chat rooms. Also, when I was a kid, I was on the Good Nights web board and that was a whole different, like it was a bunch of us younger kids chatting back and forth and there was always adults in there trying to get with us. And what I'm trying to say here is that years later, these stories will come out and that there is really no safe place. And we've tried doing this before. We've tried having safe places for teens and we tried it when I was a teen. They tried it before I was a teen even. And they've tried it years ago and you guys are trying it now. And it's never going to work. You cannot involve kids. No matter what community it's in, it's still, you're putting them at risk by getting them involved at all. Any kind of involvement is not going to end well. So just because CGLRE seems to be the new TBDL doesn't mean that it's going to end any better than any of the other situations that we as my generation have been put into as teens. And that's really why we feel so strongly about this. Adults my age will feel very, very strongly against teens getting hurt because we've been hurt. We've been through it and we're trying to protect you for a reason. So please just look into this before you go and join this community. If you're an adult, I would highly, highly, highly suggest to stay away because you're interacting with minors and that is dangerous for you. As a minor, don't interact at all. Just wait until you're 18. It's so much better then. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that this video could help you and inform you and do all the good stuff. And until next time, bye. new to this community so that he might have it misinformation. Motherfucking cats! Stop digging in your damn box while I'm trying to record a video! You suck! No, he's pooping. He's like, I gotta <laughs> dig in my sand. Watch me dig in the sand. I'm gonna take 10 minutes digging in sand. Oh my god, I'm gonna- so that I can't poop in this. <gasps> I'll Use this diapers! He's just looking at me like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> you're okay, you can poop in your box. Really, you're gonna take this long to poop? <laughs> Come on, get out of there so I can record. All right. Are you done? <laughs> He's looking at me like, what? All right. Maybe, maybe, are we done? Or are you just gonna walk across the keyboard now, Oh yeah, right? and I was gonna go on my computer. He looks so lost. <laughs> No. Like, how do I do with my life? Um, that's definitely... He fucked like... up my shit! Did you see that? He fucked my shit up! No, you said a really lot of good stuff, though. Okay, he fucked me Where up. Where did you end? I have no idea, because he fucked me up with the scratching in the fucking box. Um, I, I think that how we're doing is good, actually. Oh, God, did you shit, and now it smells like shit? Not you, Barry, but... Oh. <laughs> I was like, I didn't shit! Oh, God, it smells like shit. It smells like cat shit. You're gross, cat. Dude!